Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. It's such a funny time of year weather-wise. I mean, we have some, you know, frosty, crisp days, and we still have some hot, muggy days, apparently. Uh, and the clouds are stubborn. That's a sign that yeah, fall is here, and it looks like they're going to stay that way for the next couple days. Wanted to start out, though, with one of these photos sent in by Troy Austin. This is in Waitsfield, a beautiful shot of the fall color there. The grass still very green, and there are the clouds that we've become so accustomed to overhead. This is right now over Lake Champlain, just overcast and the clouds keeping us on the cool side. 52 the number in Burlington, but some of us in the 40s. Saranac Lake at 47, Newport at 48, 54 in Lebanon, 56 one of the milder spots in Bennington. Now this is the satellite picture. Most of us overcast. There may be a peak of sun in the Malone area along Route 11, but other than that, there's not much. There's a little shower there south of Watertown. That'll probably come in uh, to the area in the next few hours if it doesn't diminish, but not much in the way of shower activity. This is the warm part of the system to the south of all that shower activity, and the warm air will come in for tomorrow and Wednesday, but I don't think everyone breaks out into a lot of sun. Look at that. It's 80 in Pittsburgh, 82 in Indianapolis. So this is the surge of warmer air that is slowly starting to come in. It's even 70 already in Scranton. So getting very close to our neck of the woods. Not today, though. We're stuck in the 50s to about 60 with the clouds and a spot shower, but most of us won't get one of those showers. So the clouds will persist for days to come, even though we finally break into the warmer stuff for tomorrow. Doesn't last, though, because by later in the week, it does turn cooler. So there are the clouds through today on Futurecast with an occasional shower and uh, some of us getting lucky with a break or two of sun. Now tomorrow, very similar, though more sun may mix in by later tomorrow, and there's still a chance at a stray shower. And remember, it's warmer tomorrow and warmer on Wednesday. But here's the deal with Wednesday. The front that goes north of us and allows the warmer air to come in sort of stalls just north of us, and it may be too close to break out into the sun in places like St. J, Burlington, Plattsburgh, Malone. So while southern Vermont on Wednesday probably gets a lot of sun, some to the north probably not as lucky as that front lingers close by. And then on Thursday, we have more numerous showers and that knocks the warmth out of the region. But again, not much rain. Most of us not getting very much uh, in the rain gauges, but the signal here continues to be a little bit stronger right along the Canadian border where that front will be on Wednesday. So tomorrow, look at this 70s to near 80 in the Champlain Valley with still a good amount of clouds, a little more sun later in the day. Here's the five day forecast. So gradually a little more sun, definitely warmer on Tuesday and Wednesday could hit 80 in spots if we get enough sun. Thursday, though, we cool off. There's showers that come through. And then at the end of the week, I still think there's a lot of clouds. Michael, Hurricane Michael likely passes well offshore. It may send in some clouds, though, so uh, it looks cool to start the upcoming weekend in the 40s. Maybe some showers by Sunday. Dave?